Hey guys, what's up here? I am speechless. Nintendo really dropped a bomb and just announced Splatoon 3, with a brand new trailer on top of that. I can't put into words how happy I am with that and I basically screamed like a little child when they, when they announced it. They already showed off so much from new cosmetics, to the new story mode, to the new world, but I'm here for the gameplay guys. I've been playing this game competitively for like ages, so we're gonna be concentrating on the gameplay part in this video. We only got like 30 seconds of new gameplay, but that's packed with new features and weapons and uh, everything just looks so good, so I just don't want to waste any more time here, let's just jump right into it, okay? <laughs> let's start right where the gameplay begins. First off, we get introduced to a new kind of spawning, launching yourself right into the battle. It seems like you can aim for a spot to land. So does that mean the old spawning method is done for? We can actually see the old spawn platforms right at the edge of the maps. They are covered with planes and there's no steam coming out of them, so they might not be functioning anymore. This might be a world building bit to show how they moved on from the older ways of battle. This begs the question whether all spawns follow the new launching method, or if it's only just the start of each battle, while every other spawn is just like in the older games. Maybe the spawns get activated after the first death of the round. The Nintendo Twitter account actually states this new method is how Inklings enter the battle, so this might only apply to the opening. What is certain though is that you can aim for your landing spot, even though the trailer only shows you can aim left and right a bit. It doesn't look like it gives you a lot of freedom since the landing spots are kind of in the same order as the flying spawner drones. It would be interesting to know how far you can launch yourself. You can see from the very left inkling at least that you are able to aim upwards and downwards a bit, but how far? Can you launch yourself right into mid, right into the heat of the battle? This leaves a lot of tactical possibilities like sending good space controlling weapons to the front to hold the ground while your support weapons spawn further behind to have more pain to get an early special. It feels somewhat similar to super jumps but way cooler and it's a more dynamic way to start off a battle. They do not show any normal respawns in the trailer at all and actively avoid doing so, but I can't imagine every respawn being like this. Everyone could be back in the game way quicker, even without a teammate to jump to, which would weaken team wipes significantly. We haven't seen any super jumps yet, but I'm sure they're back as well. Depending on how far you can launch yourself, this looks like an interesting addition to shake up the battle. We also get shown two new movement mechanics which we already got names for from Twitter. The squid roll and the squid surge. The squid roll allows you to cancel your momentum into the opposite direction followed immediately by a jump, where you twirl out of your ink. You could do something similar in the previous game with an advanced technique called substraining where you could cancel your momentum into the opposite direction as well, and immediately followed by a jump it looks very similar, but the leap from the squid roll is much more immediate. From this angle we can also see that you can shoot while performing this new move, while jumping further and also much higher, higher than you ever could out of squid form before. This creates a lot of new possibilities for your movement to get up higher places quickly for example, or to retreat behind cover while simultaneously still shooting and facing the opponent. The other new movement technique is the squid surge, which allows you to jump out from the top of climbing a wall much quicker and higher than before. This can be very useful as a surprise attack for enemies on top, but it leaves you vulnerable on the way down in an easy to predict trajectory. I wonder how useful this can be to get around the map quicker as well, launching yourself from edges towards higher spots. Also, I can imagine this being used to peek over a ledge to take a charter shot or something to gain more height for potential new angles. A neat little touch though is the inkling raising his fist in the air after a successful shot, kind of like the additional animation some specials and sub weapons got in the previous game. Also I found this other shot which seems to be another squid surge, but here he doesn't jump as high but a bit more to the side, so there might be a way to angle this technique. I wanna briefly talk about something else movement related, jumping height. The height Inklings can jump to seems inconsistent in this trailer. You could influence how high you jump before, but now the highest you can jump in the trailer is way higher. While often in the trailer it seems like it's the same as in previous games, some instances paint a different picture. Take this bow player for example. In this clip he jumps way higher than usual. At first I thought this could be a perk of the new special or something, but later you can see him jumping as high without activating any special. I don't see them coming out of ink so it can't be a squid roll, and he's also not climbing up a wall to perform a squid surge, he just jumps from a standing position. Maybe it's weapon related now, how high someone can jump, kind of how your movement speed is related to your weight class. 
Talking about weapons, we almost see every weapon class returning. The splatter shot in the 96 Gull for shooters, the range blaster for blasters, the sloshing machine for sloshers, the elite for chargers, the hydra splatling for splatlings and the dynamo roller for rollers. Only brellas and dualies are missing. Most weapons have a slightly new design with the blaster and the 96 Gull having a complete visual overhaul, probably to make it easier to tell them apart from similar looking weapons of the same type. We get a glimpse at a new weapon and weapon class as well, some sort of battle bow, and man it looks fantastic. This unique weapon seems to have a lot of range, it looks like a semi-automatic similar to the H3, shooting 3 bullets at once. The bullets look a lot bigger though and seem to have a good fall off, almost like an explosion. The range seems to be similar to an explosion as well. The bow paints decently, but it doesn't look like it can paint a lot beneath its feet when it fires to the distance, which might prove difficult in battle. The ink bow glows as well while holding its shot, so there might be a similar story mechanic like chargers have in Splatoon 2, but I guess it's at least guaranteed that you can hold your charge like a splitling. Also, quick side note, the vertical swing for dynamos are back. I have barely noticed any sub-weapons used in the whole trailer, just one tiny split bomb. The marker on the ink tanks showing how much ink you require for your sub-weapon is back though, which can be seen in some shots. The crab thing in the end looks like an upgraded autobomb, but it's actually confirmed to be a special. Speaking about specials, we can observe four specials in this trailer. First a modified Inksuka. The Nintendo Twitter account explicitly stated that some specials are reconfigured versions of already existing ones. This time, instead of a tornado of ink, the Inksuka shoots three big bubble projectiles, like huge explosion shots at once, which kill on impact. They have an insane range, even further than the original Inksuka. They only pain where the bullets land though. There seems to be ammunition containers flying off the Inksuka, which might mean you only get a certain amount of shots, instead of as many shots you can squeeze into a certain time frame. The other special is like a hybrid of Stingray, Killer Whale and Tenta missiles. It's like multiple stingray beams which go through walls and every obstacle of the map while they lock onto opponents. Due to multiple beams targeting one target at once, its area of effect feels bigger than a stingray closer to a killer whale. While we don't see how much damage it does, we're only left to speculate, but I can only assume for balancing issues that it's a tuned down stingray which auto locks slightly like the stingray in Salmon Run. We can also see some Tenta misses on the screenshots on Twitter, but there's no indication that there's something different about them. The last special we get to see is the crab, which got confirmed to be a special thanks to Twitter. We don't see it in action despite it shifting form from a ball into a crab. The only thing we can do is speculate. It might be some sort of turret or helper. It might just be a more powerful autobomb which just chases people more aggressively. Since we only see it moving left and right, it might be an area controlling special as well, moving and covering a certain area, attacking everything which gets too close. Maybe you can even transform into the crab, similar how Kraken worked in the first game. Only time will tell. We also have new upgraded ink tanks. While every ink tank in the trailer looks the same, we are left to wonder if we get different ink tank sizes like we got with an update for Splatoon 2, which increased the ink tank size of the Splattershot Jr. It would be another good way to balance out weapons. And this sums up everything I could pick up in the gameplay part of the new Splatoon 3 trailer. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to discuss and speculate everything with you guys in the comments, so just throw everything you know in there. I am beyond hyped for this game. If you can't wait as well, I recommend you checking out some of my spicy recent montages, like this Hype Dynamo montage for example, to help with the waiting. If you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe for more high quality Splatoon related content in the future. With that being said, have a good one, see you around guys, what's new?